Also new at nine tonight, West Nile has made its way to Texas. The first case has been reported in Dallas County, and now people are worried where it might spread next. Fox 51's Tori Bean has more. The West Nile virus has been found close to East Texas, but people may not be familiar with the disease. It's a relatively common um, mosquito-borne disease, uh, one of the most common in the United States. It's just that most of the disease is not symptomatic and most people don't know they have it. The illness is commonly diagnosed during the summer when mosquitoes are more active and you're more likely to get bitten. And the mosquitoes probably get it from migratory birds who start up north and come down to the south and they're often related to where the flyways are for these migratory birds. Dr. Richard Wallace Jr., an infectious disease doctor, says it can take 5 to 14 days for the virus to appear. With a mild case, you may experience flu-like symptoms. A more severe form could bring with it brain swelling, landing you in the hospital. Older people will have more and it can affect your brain. He advises going outside when mosquitoes are less active, wearing long sleeves, and applying bug repellent containing DEET in them can help prevent a possible infectious bite. There's no vaccine and there's no specific treatment. It's just supportive care. Tony Santa Angelo, the CEO of Inventive Pest Control, says they can also help keep the mosquitoes away. There's several different ways you can treat for mosquitoes, okay? The, the main way, the thing you see, everybody's have mosquito foggers and you run around and you spray the shrubs and the bushes, which does work. He says they can come treat your yard every three weeks, but there's only one way to really get rid of the bug. Personally, the easiest thing you can do for your home as a homeowner is try to find anything, any kind of stagnant standing water, get rid of it. Keeping you and your family safe from the West Nile virus this summer. Tori Bean, Fox 51 News.